Hello goddesses! In this video I am going to be doing my hair and I'm going to be doing a speed through but the reason that I'm creating this video it's really exciting because this is the first performance I am going to be doing of the year of 2023 so I'm really really excited about it so I want to take you goddesses behind the scenes tomorrow at 7 p.m. we have to go I'm inviting my friend my friend's coming to dance with me so the person that bought me on board for the show is um who I went on tour the manager for Alina she hit me up and was like hey do you want to do this show for this artist called The Vault so I was checking his music out I really like it it's a vibe and the theme is like Matrix so I'm really excited about it because it's gonna be like fucking fire I'm gonna be wearing a black leather outfit da 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 so anyway with that being said um today is the 12th tomorrow is the 13th when we're doing the show and the coolest part about it is it is a 360 show so definitely stay towards the end of this video because there is probably going to be a lot of dope shit that I want to share and show you guys all of the behind the scenes and yeah with that being said, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe to my channel. I do make more videos like these when I do shows and performances behind the scenes. So definitely like and subscribe and stay tuned. So I'm doing my hair right now. I'm going to be doing a different style. I'm going to see how it goes. So let me know if you guys like it. Okay, I know that looks weird, but I just finished blowing out my complete hair. So I'm going to be flat ironing the edges around to just make sure they look good and they're flat. I have never used this before, but I'm using this 24 hour edge tamer, like sleek and go. I've never used this before and bruh, it smells so, so good. It smells like coconut. So it's not perfect, but I don't hate it. Um, it's my first time doing it, but I'm really just gonna lay down these edges and I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. Um, like braid it and everything, I'm gonna do this again. But I like it, I like it a lot. I tested it out like pole dancing and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm about to get ready for bed. Actually, I'm gonna just eat, I'm gonna go eat. Um, Cause I'm like hungry and then I'm gonna go to bed get ready for bed and i'm gonna wake up really early in the morning to just make sure i have everything that i need and i'm all set and whatnot so i'll check y'all check y'all tomorrow okay hey goddesses so it's the next morning um i'm actually going to the grocery store right now it's like my place is really close um to the grocery store so i'm just gonna grab some food i'm actually wearing my onesie too and then I'm gonna go to CVS and just pick up some stuff for my hair and maybe some nails. Um, but yeah, so let's just get my day started. It's like 11, so um, I'm gonna be getting ready around like three, I wanna say, because we have to be there at seven for sound check. So I'm really excited. So yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I just finished going to the grocery store. Um, <laughs> I realized, cause I look at people in their face. So I noticed that people were like looking at me and some of them were like looking at me like, you know, I looked at them in their eyes. <laughs> cause like, I don't think I look crazy. I feel like I, I'm comfortable. But anyway, people, or like looking and stuff and I just like made eye contact with them didn't really smile though <laughs> but it was just kind of funny but anyway with that being said I'm now coming from the grocery store I'm actually gonna drop my 
um, food off. And then I'm gonna go right across the street. Okay, so I just left the grocery store. I went home real quick to put my stuff in the house because um, the Walgreens is right across the street from my house. So again, I thought it was so funny how people were just like looking at me up and down or looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but I don't really care, obviously, because I'm comfortable and I'm fucking warm. So yeah, we're about to walk into Walgreens right now and I'll show y'all what I'm wearing um, when I get back into the house. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, show y'all <laughs> this is what I'm wearing um I have like my pink shoes on and whatever but this is what I look like I don't think I look crazy but so yeah so anyway right now I'm about to cook it's about 12 y'all can kind of like see a little bit of my apartment um but yeah so I'm about to like make some food and then around, I said around like three o'clock, three, two, 30, I'm gonna start like getting ready and whatnot, redoing my hair actually um, and everything. So, so just y'all can see more of my hair. Um, so I'm gonna come forward. So I have to like fix this a little, it doesn't look that, it might look kind of bad, but anyway, I got got to be glue and whatnot and i'm just gonna like you know fix my hair and whatnot but it's cute it's definitely gonna be flying around and shit and whatnot um so yeah so i'll check y'all in a little bit um i'll probably show you like the food that i made and everything so yeah see y'all in a second okay so i'm in the kitchen right now i'm about to start cooking um so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna make and then I'm gonna like do the dishes real quick, which I'm just gonna put in my dishwasher over here. Um, but I have some portobello mushrooms because I don't eat meat, so this is like protein. Um, and then I have onions and spinach, and I'm just gonna be making some pasta. I use diced tomatoes instead of like pasta sauce because this tastes better to me, and then some butter, and of course, like seasoning and stuff. So yeah, so I'm about to get a cooking, but I'm gonna clean first. like 2 30 3 o'clock i'm gonna start doing my hair again so i know right now i have it low but i i'm thinking of putting it like a little bit a little bit higher just a little bit higher maybe like more in the back or something um but yeah because this is the first time that i I've, I've done this um so i'm not upset at it i like it but just need some work but anyway so yeah i'm gonna show y'all the completion of my meal and yeah.
this big bowl i'm going to finish so i'm going to just kind of talk about like how important it is like to eat before like having a performance because when i was on tour like there was a certain like eating regimen that i had to have because like if i have a full stomach and i'm going on stage for like 70 60 minutes dancing with like small little breaks like that's going to be too much of me so it's 1 30 now i'm going to eat this whole thing and then i'm probably not going to eat until after so i have a lot of pasta and this is really good because working excuse me working out and stuff pasta is really good um so yeah also like i'm just gonna like sit here and just kind of share some like inner thoughts that's been on my mind <laughs> and while this like cools down for a little bit so i was in the kitchen like cooking you know one i was like playing music and i haven't i realized i haven't really played music in a while when i'm like cooking or like cleaning or something so i'm i don't know why but i'm getting back into that right so as i was cleaning i was sitting here thinking <laughs> of this situation that i kind of want to like talk to you guys like goddesses about and it was like this dude that I was like messing with. He was a he was my sugar daddy. And I have a sugar daddy video up. If you are interested in watching on how I got a sugar daddy, how I got the sugar daddy, I will put it up above for y'all to check it out. So anyway, with this sugar daddy that I was messing with, I was just sitting here thinking about his like generation. And I know I talk about this in my sugar daddy. That's a cat. That's my roommate's guy. But I talk about this in my sugar daddy video where I realize like older gener gentlemen, they may not know how to like do things, you know? Um, but I was just sitting here thinking about how like in the society we're told like, oh, you know, men are so like hypersexual and they always want to have SEX, you know what I'm saying? And whatnot. And I realized that I'm, I'm just starting to realize that that's not entirely true. And the reason why is because I was thinking even further back to my ex, you know what I'm saying? And how, you know, one, he was very manipulative. So he like manipulated me to becoming like hypersexual, right? And now that I'm like back into myself and whatnot, I one, understand that I'm demisexual. I do enjoy sex, but it's not going to be great if there isn't like a mental emotional spiritual connection um but anyway i realized that there was a point which i didn't understand he was like mad at me and he was like all you want to do like every single time i touch you da 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 like all you want to do is have sex and i'm like at the time i didn't understand what he was upset about and i was like okay like you know what i'm saying but now i'm looking back at it and i'm like I truly believe that women are way more, not all, but I feel like me being a woman, woman and other women that I've talked to, I feel like they all have this like same outlook. Like we want to have sex like four to three times a day, like certain women, like me, if I really fuck with you specifically, and that's like how I feel like when I've talked to my friends, it's like when we really fuck with you and we love you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And with my ex, like, I just remember he was just like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's all you want to do, da, da da Like, I'm tired of it, but I'm like, you made me this way. Anyway, that's just like cooking talks. By the way, that is my, <laughs> that's my last name, if you did not know. So, not cooking, but you you get it if you get it. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to eat this food. And then after, I'm probably just going to like chill for a little bit. Um, probably take these videos off my phone, put it on my hard drive. So I can get a lot of content for tonight because it is gonna be a lot of fucking fun y'all are not gonna want to miss it so stay tuned right now it is 3 42 and i'm going to fix my hair and um, tie it up wrap it up um all i'm gonna do for makeup right now is like put on my lashes and i think that's pretty much it and like just brush my teeth and stuff um but yeah so my friend that I'm dancing with tonight. She should be here around like six o'clock. Oh, and then I'm gonna do my nails as well. So yeah, so I wanna have y'all come along to the process of beautifying myself. So, and I'll show you like all the stuff that I'm using because I know I had posted this video. So I have a video up that's on how to be that girl with a budget. So I 
share, you know what I'm saying, what I do in the video, what I purchase and stuff like that. Um, so check out that video. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the process of how I beautify myself on a budget. I'm just hoping the the white goes away but um it's like four now i'm gonna spray this up. okay <laughs> so it's like four o'clock now um so i'm just gonna put on my lashes i'm gonna keep this on until my friend comes i'm probably just gonna keep it on the whole entire time um maybe i don't know well we'll see how it goes um, but yeah, so this looks a lot better. I put it like up here. <laughs> Dio for the Dio. So yeah, and then she should be coming. And um, yeah, we'll be on our way to the event. <laughs> okay, we are looking good. This line on my forehead is not cute though, but we are looking cute. Okay, it's laying flat. There's some white things on my head. But we are looking cute. I'm loving this a fucking look. It is a vibe. So I'm gonna go do my nails real quick. Um and put on a hoodie. I'm gonna put this back on my head because I don't wanna mess up my hair when I put on a hoodie. So yeah, I'm loving it. We look cute, we look good, I'm happy with it. Let's go. Okay, so we're all set. I just did my nails, it's just like white nails. Um, I put on some foundation. I don't know if I already said that, but I put on some foundation just to kind of get myself ready um, because when we get there, we're going to be doing a sound check. So we're gonna set up and then like practice on the pole together. And then from there, we're gonna get like ready there and everything. So a bitch look good though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, a bitch look good. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys once I get there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get content while bringing my pole outside and stuff like that. But I will probably be able to get content once I am there or video once I'm there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hello goddesses of God. So I went the baddest, the baddest in the city, point blank period, this is Devin. <laughs> I'm gonna put her information in the description, but I'm gonna show y'all some stuff this is the trench coats that we're going to be wearing tonight. So once we're all put together, we're going to show you all the outfits and everything. So I'm going to walk y'all through real quick through the audience. Or not the audience. <laughs> so y'all can see.
tonight was uh it was pretty fucking it was pretty fucking though i can honestly say i've never been this exhausted and tired like ever so we danced for like not 70 minutes straight but we our set time was like it was the set of 70 minutes and when i went on tour it was like 60 minutes specifically so with that 10 extra minutes it, it really made a difference and uh, I think it's kind of funny because I was able to keep up my like stamina and everything, but I truly can say like I have not been this tired in a really, 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 really long time. Um, like after the show, I just had to like sit, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth. But with that being said, it was great vibes. The dude, the vault, who um, was the artist, he was really dope. He was really cool. Um, everybody was really kind, everybody was really nice, you know, made some connections with people. Um, yeah, I want to say this is probably the conclusion of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage of behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, like the 360 video, um, either I put it in, you know what I'm saying, because this video, it's January 13th. So I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, um, probably by the time when I get the like 360 footage and stuff to show you guys what that looks like, because I know it's going to be like sick. Um, but yeah, tell me how you guys enjoyed this pretty much vlog. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want more when I go out there and perform and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really do hope you goddesses and gods enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions when it comes to like performances and so on and so forth, comment down below and let me know because I'm down to answer and any questions that y'all have um, and so on and so forth. So with that being said, love you goddesses and gods and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content and videos and vlogs like these and so much more. Love you and good night.